Kalonzo Musyoka and Martha Karua's fight boils over with all eyes on Raila Amolo Odinga's succession. Another article with the headline Martha Karua Hatoshi Boga Kalonzo Musyoka. So, what exactly is causing the bitter fallout between Martha Karua and Kalonzo Musyoka? Ladies and gentlemen, the Waipa party leader Kalonzo Musyoka and the Nakenya party leader Martha Karua are fighting over Raila Odinga's succession in the 2027 general elections. Kalonzo Musyoka strongly believes that he is the best to be endorsed by Raila Odinga simply because Kalonzo Musyoka has been always loyal to Baba. He has said Raila Tosha for three times. It is very, very easy for Raila Odinga supporters to support Kalonzo Musyoka if he will be endorsed by Raila Odinga as compared to Martha Karua. Kalonzo Musyoka has delivered votes to Raila Odinga through the Wiper Party. While on the other side, Martha Karua believes that she is the one who is the best to be endorsed by Raila Odinga because she was actually Raila Odinga's running mate in the previous 2022 general elections. Also on the issue of the gender card, Martha Karua wants to be a woman presidential candidate. So she just needs Raila Odinga's support to boost her politics. But the question is, who exactly do you think Raila Amolo Odinga should endorse for the 2027 general elections? Because Raila Odinga has kept quiet completely over this particular matter. Why is Raila Odinga so quiet on this matter? Raila Odinga's silence can actually mean two things. Number one, it means that Raila Odinga will not endorse neither Kalonzo Musyoka nor Martha Karua. I mean, why should Raila Odinga endorse Martha Karua or Kalonzo Musyoka? While on the back of Raila Odinga's mind, he is fully focused on the African Union Commission top job. Therefore, Raila Odinga will have to exit from the local politics. That is why he is so silent over this matter. Number two, Raila Odinga's silence can also mean that in the mind of Raila Odinga, he will actually endorse somebody else apart from Master Karua and Kanunzo Musyoka, considering the Luo Nyanza politics. As Raila Odinga heads for retirement to quit from the local politics, Raila Odinga wants to leave the Luo Nyanza region to be stable, politically speaking, because Raila Odinga is actually the kingpin of that region. Therefore, for that matter, Raila Odinga will have to endorse somebody from the Luo Nyanza region or Raila Odinga can decide to endorse President William Samuel Arapruto in the 2027 general elections just to ensure that as he leaves, as he exits from the local politics, he will leave the Luo Nyanza region in the government to be on the safer side. And that is exactly why you have seen ODM party leaders currently praising President William Samuel Arapruto. But what if Raila Odinga decides to endorse one of these two leaders, Martha Karua or Kalonzo Musyoka? Do you think that these two leaders have that capacity to remove William Ruto from power? Of course not. I have always insisted in this platform that the 2027 general elections will actually be the easiest for President William Samuel Arapruto. In fact, there is no need for William Ruto to campaign because he does not have a competitor. But Kalonzo Musyoka made a statement recently saying that 
Brace yourself for a battle. As I try to make William Samuel Araputo a one-term president for the sake of the country. Of course, everybody knows that there is no way Kalonzo Musioka will defeat William Ruto in a free and fair presidential elections. The most important question here is why then is Martha Karua and Kalonzo Musioka fighting for Raila Odinga's endorsement, knowing very well that there is no way they are going to defeat William Ruto? Why is Raila Odinga's endorsement very, very important to Kalonzo Musioka and Martha Karua? Yet they will not defeat William Ruto in the 2027 general elections. I will give you three shocking reasons behind all this. But before that, just a quick reminder that if you are listening to me and you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'm requesting you to please just take a second or two and subscribe. Just press the subscription button down below. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this particular video here to reach out to others so that you can grow. And to my returning subscribers, I also want to appreciate you for your continued support. Without your support, this channel cannot be where it is. And that is exactly why I don't take your support for granted. Having said that, now let us go straight into the details. Number one, the reason behind Martha Karua and Kalonzo Musioka fighting for Ray Lodinga's endorsement, it is because of the political survival. A good example, on Martha Karua's case, if Ray Lodinga will retire from politics, that will actually be the end of Martha Karua's politics. So Martha Karua needs, still needs Ray Lodinga's endorsement. She needs Ray Lodinga the most so that she can survive politically. That is the reason as to why Martha Karua and even Kalonzo Musioka are urgently seeking for Ray Lodinga's endorsement. Number two, it is because of the political parties. They want to revive their political parties. The Wiper Party is collapsing. The NAC Kenya Party by Martha Karua does not even exist. If the Wiper Party is not linked with Raila Amolodinga, I don't think if Wiper Party can survive politically. So they want to revive their political parties. That is why they are seeking for Raila Odinga's endorsement. And finally, they want to win Raila Amolodinga's strongholds. There are Raila Odinga's strongholds, regions, where you cannot enter through the back door. You must be endorsed by Raila Amolodinga. A very good example is the Luo Nyanza region. For the Luos to accept you, you have to go through Raila Amolodinga. So without Raila Odinga's endorsement, there is no way that Raila Odinga's supporters, and especially the, the Luos, will support you. That is why these leaders, Martha Karua and Dr. Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, are urgently fighting for Raila Odinga's endorsement, despite them knowing very well that there is no way they will defeat William Samuel Araputo in the 2027 general elections. So basically, they want to revive their political parties, which are collapsing. Number two, for their political survival, they need Raila Odinga. And number three, they want to win Raila Odinga's strongholds. That is it. I don't know what you think. I will also want to know your thoughts, your views, and your opinions in the comment section down below. Why do you think Martha Karwa and Kalonzo Musioka are fighting over Raila Odinga's succession? Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, I don't have much. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. My name is Jason. Bye-bye.